Demand for the COVID-19 vaccine is far outpacing supply here in Bear County. Even before healthcare workers and nursing homes were vaccinated, the state opened up eligibility to people 65 and older and those with certain health conditions. So now eligibility is less of a problem than availability. Our Garrett Berger tells us what you need to know. Esther Chalk was just 15 months old when she faced polio, years before the vaccine for it became widespread. And I was at Santa Rosa for nine months, and but I made it. And she's determined to make it through COVID-19 too, this time with the help of the vaccine, which she eagerly got today through University Health at Wonderland of the Americas. It just reinforces the importance of science and the importance of following through with it. But Chalk is one of the lucky ones. The more than 17,000 appointments University Health offered to people in phase 1B, which covers seniors and people with certain medical conditions, were snapped up in less than five hours. And it's hard to find any other providers that have vaccine available for that group. The challenge right now, the city's pandemic incident commander says, is supply. We don't have enough vaccine to vaccinate everybody who wants to be vaccinated today. State data shows Bear County is a long way off from vaccinating everyone in phase 1A people like healthcare workers and nursing home residents. And now the pool of eligible people is much wider. We're estimating about 60% of Bear County population um, is either over the age of 65 or um, 16 years or older with one underlying chronic medical condition. Bridger says they're working to get the state to send more vaccines our way, and they hope to set up more mass vaccination clinics. There will be enough for everyone, she says, just not yet. University Health is saying do not just show up here. You need to be pre-registered and all the appointments are filled right now. If more become available, you'll be able to check in on this website. We can do it sa.com. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.